welcome to the United Stand, the news we've all been waiting for. We did the video on Sunday. I know a few of you doubted it, but I think that's just because you couldn't believe it was going to be true. And to be honest, you know, the most important thing, how are you all feeling about Van Hal leaving Manchester United, effectively sacked? I don't think he wanted to go. How do you feel about it? There's lots I want to discuss, uh, but I want you to get commented below and tell us how you feel. You know, the whole 18 months, has it been a disaster? Has it been, are there positives? Does anybody wish he would stay? Has anyone got any concerns? There's a few things I want to cover. I mean, the, especially the things that have come out from the press in the last 12 hours from what I believe to be credible journalists personally uh, about the, the unrest in the club and the massive problems with the players that we suspected it was going to come out. Some of you might not be aware of it. I'll touch on that in a moment. Um, but I think up until Saturday, most of us, if Van Hal had been sacked, would have been dancing in the streets. And I think deep inside, or, or maybe not that deep, we, we, we figuratively are, but there are concerns about the way the club have dealt with this yet again. He has been sacked. Um, I don't give Van Hal much sympathy. Uh, I think, you know, the way he's been treated reminds me very much the way Robin Van Persie was treated, and he was party to that last year. And whatever you think about Van Persie, whether he was over the hill or not, and there are other players, Hernandez... Uh, Di Maria, lots of other players, Valdez publicly berated by Van Hal. So, you know, what? You, sometimes you get a taste of your own medicine. But uh, Robin Van Persie single-handedly won as the league and didn't deserve to just be, you know, shown out the back door, no gratitude. I mean, Danny Welbeck got a tweet off the main Man United account the other week uh, because he missed the Euros. Uh, he left a long time ago. They, could never, they didn't even tweet goodbye to Robin Van Persie, which I thought was disgusting on the part of the board, board, board sorry, but also Van Hal. So... But that is, you know, two wrongs don't make a right. I think uh, Van Hal obviously had no idea he was going, uh, and uh, he probably he probably did, but I don't think he'd been given the heads up by the club. Much the same, Moyes wasn't. Both men deserve to go, but it does leave you thinking, you know, the board, especially Ed Woodward, fantastic businessmen, but they need to stop doing this because even fans like myself, who who don't have a lot of time for Van Hal and, and think some of the things he's done. You know, it reads like a, 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 a dictionary, the, the list of things that he's done wrong. But um, there's still a certain thing as manners. And I think we need to start treating people a little bit better than, uh, you know, being leaked to the press before the manager even knows that. that. You know, that should not be happening. And I think it makes it a little bit worse because I, I, the board are culpable for this as well. You know, Woodward picked Van Hal. Um, and, you know, it's very easy to throw Van Hal to the dogs and say, oh, we've got rid of him. But you, you appointed him. If, he, if he's unsuccessful, that, that, that more lies on your shoulders than it does Van Hal. Van Hal is what he is. You know, he's a boring manager. He's coming towards the end of his career. This will probably be the end of his career. Um, and, and the job was just, it, it was, he just never got to grips with it. But it, he was employed by the board. So they do take some responsibility as far as I'm concerned. Um, on from that, you, you have concerns. You have concerns about what the board are doing. I think they're going to get it right now with Marino, Mourinho, and I don't think they can go wrong with that. But you read about the press. This is from uh, Daniel Taylor in The Guardian. Mark Ogden in The Independent read both articles last night and both mirror each other from independent, uh, in the, the Independent and The Guardian, but from different newspapers and distant, different journalists. And the key, from, the key things from that are that you know, Van Hal was sending emails to players about where they were going wrong. There was massive unrest. Um, David, David, David Hale was going to go this summer. He was fed up with Van Hal and, uh, and, and his assistant and he wanted out. Um, Rooney and Carrick, as we knew after the Arsenal game, had been to Van Hal saying he'd been way, way too uh, restrictive on the players. That didn't change. Uh, players are fed up. Ryan Giggs apparently is more or less on the same page as Paul Scholes, his mate from the class of 92, and has been massively frustrated for the last two years. Um, so lots of things coming out that we expected, but but everything that's coming out just shows what a mess and, and what a lot of fans thought about Van Hal, that he is a dictator, that he doesn't let players express themselves. And that has obvious, that's obviously been so obvious on the pitch. I know some people will come out and say, well, Giggs is his, is his assistant. If he didn't like it, he should go. But can you imagine if Giggs in January had gone, I can't work for this man, he's ruining Manchester United, I'm walking out. The fallout would be huge. I mean, Ryan Giggs is a legend. People wouldn't be turning up to games. There'd be civil war if Giggs had gone, I'm off. And I think, you know what, Giggs deserves a pat on the back in a way for keeping his mouth shut 
and uh, just going along with it until the end of the season when the changes happened. Because if he'd done it mid-season, so he'd be throwing the club to the dogs in a way because it would have been civil war. So I think I don't think Giggs deserves any criticism. And you suspect when you look at it, his body language that you know he knows the United way, and this hasn't been the United way under Giggs. But more more is going to come out in the press. What worries me about the board is the fact that. David Dayer was going to go, and I'm still convinced that if we got top four, they would have stood by Van Hal, and we would have lost our player of the year for the last three years. He got massive unrest in the club. Uh, one player's quoted that 90% of the playing staff needs needs to go because it's just it's just been so disjointed. I, don't, I wouldn't go that far, but there's more to come out, and it's a mess. And the fact is, the board will have been aware of that mess, and this has been going on for a long, long time, and under whole under the whole of Van Hal's reign and they've allowed it to go on so I think yeah Van Hal had to go his mistakes as we know uh, I mean I've, I've said them before on the other video but um, an easy Champions League group embarrassed L Liverpool over two legs our big rivals embarrassed no fight no passion the games we've lost this season the records we've broken the most backward passes I mean that's just symbolic of Van Hal uh, his reign we were going backwards uh, I think he has done good things in the youth um, but you tell you what, Warren Joyce has done, good, done fantastic things in the youth. So it's not all about Van Hal. Um, and I think a massive clear out's needed. But I think it's, I, I do want to listen to what you lot have got to say because I know I'm giving my opinion. And it is the United Stand and I'm just throwing stuff at you that we know. But expect more to come out from the players through the press over the next few days. Uh, he's gone. He was always going to go, as we know. I mean, that's why we did the video yesterday. And I know a lot of you said it, you jump in the gun, but it was inevitable he was going to go. Um, I'm happy he's gone. I think the board have just got to learn from this. It's the second time they've they've been really disrespectful of a human being in the way they've been got rid of. Um, and I don't I, that doesn't wash well with me. Um, and I think they are culpable as well. They they appointed Moyes. They appointed Van Hal. They'll have been aware of what's been going on for the last 18 months with this dictatorial managership and boring football. And, the, and, and, and it's not really, it isn't acceptable. Um, players, do they get some blame for it? People say, well, the players have got to take some blame for it. But have they really, you know, if what do you do? You're told to do something by a manager and if you don't do it, he won't pick you. So, it's a, you know, as a professional footballer, you want to play football. It's very different. I, I'm 100% I'm sure we're going to see a lot different players in the, from the likes of Schneidlin, Herrera, even Memphis if he's given a chance. Adamian, we're going to see different players because they're going to be allowed to express themselves, which they haven't. Even the likes of Rooney and Matter if he was lucky enough to stay. But I think Giggs is interesting. Uh, we'll do a video on Giggs, I think. I expect him to announce he's leaving. I, I, I respect him for that. I think it's right for him. I think if he wants to be a manager, he's got to go. And I think from the players, Giggs has come out of it with, with a lot of respect in the way he's handled himself. The things he was doing behind the scenes. Apparently, he was only ever allowed to like set the team, the other eleven up on a Thursday to play against the first team in the way the opposition were going to play, and he researched that really well. And he's and he's come out of it with a lot of respect from the players, whereas Van Hal has has next to nothing. Um, so yeah, I think Giggs goes needs to go and cut his teeth at another club. But Van Hal has gone is the main thing. Get commenting below. It's the right decision. Uh, I think the board again. We, we do question Woodward and and, and his handling of football matters. Uh, and, and hopefully we'll get it right. Mourinho, will, it's, the, it's the first step of three. Van Hal will go, Mourinho will be appointed, and Ibrahimovic will sign. We've said that now for the last uh, couple of weeks, haven't we? And it's going to happen. One down, two to go. It's an exciting time, it's a positive time. But as we always say, and as you know as United Stand viewers, let's have, a, let's, let's, uh, let's have our heads screwed on a little bit. And uh, there's always a bigger picture, and it's not as easy as saying Van Hal is to blame, let's start again. The board have contributed to that. They need to start getting it right because uh, we've had three years of bad decisions now. But yeah, Van Hal going 100% is the right thing. I don't have any sympathy for him from the way he's conducted himself over the 18 months. Been very arrogant with 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 what is the biggest club in the world, and he's, and it matters a lot to him. You've got to entertain the fans. And the minute he didn't do that and he ignored it was the minute he ended his Manchester United career, really. Uh, and you can't do that as a Manchester United manager. You've got to play the right way. You've got to entertain the fans. And the fans will love you. Uh, if you don't do that, he left it way too late coming on the pitch just before, uh, after the Bournemouth game, saying, this is for you. He's ignored the fans for most of the season. You know, even he has, hasn't he? But he's gone, and we move on. Thanks for watching. We've got loads more content to come as this week goes. Marino will be next, 100%. And uh, so will Ibrahimovic. Thanks for watching. Get commenting. We will get replying.